Okay, I've opened up that section cut in Illustrator now, and you can see there's some strange things, but uh, the, the rectangle wheel here is the viewport boundary, matches the viewport that I had in Rhino, and you can see that it puts it on its own layer here called viewport boundary. But what we really want to do is in order to be able to rescale this and resize it correctly, we just want to trim off this extra stuff outside of that viewport boundary. So let's zoom in here and see, and I'm going to turn on, on my outline mode, I'll select that line, I'll grab that anchor point with my black arrow and drag, hold down shift, and snap to the viewport boundary. So I just rescaled, resized that, uh, that line. Let's see what else we've got. Let's zoom in over here and we can delete that. And there, let's see, that one we can just delete. This line, is something that extends outside there. So we'll do the same thing we'll, with the black arrow. I'll select that, grab that anchor point, and rescale it until we snap to the path that's the boundary. Same thing with this one. Grab that anchor point, hold down shift to rescale it, snap there. Okay, so everything is basically, we zoom out here, trimmed to the boundaries of the viewport. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to preview mode, command Y or control Y. I'm going to, let's see, now we will drag in our rendering and it puts it on its own layer, layer one here. I'm going to put that at the bottom and zoom out here. I'll turn off the others, my section cut poche curves and I'll line up my rendering kind of where I want it on the artboard. Then what I'll do is I'll snap to one edge of the artboard, right edge of the artboard and grab this edge, this anchor, hold down shift, resize the image proportionally. So now it fits, my image fits within this, the bounds of the artboard. I'll lock that layer, turn on my other layers that are the section cut, select them. Now I'll grab this anchor and I just need to resize it to exactly the same size as my captured image from, from Rhino and there. So that lines up. Then I can just proceed and clean up, clean up the, uh, this vector art with, and with many of the techniques that we've already uh, looked at before using the Shape Builder tool and the Pathfinder palette, um, color, stroke, et cetera, et cetera. One of the first things I like to do, of course, is give it a th everything a thinner stroke, about 0.25. That makes things a little bit easier to see when things are close together, coming, uh, coming together that are very close. I'll change that, I'll select all, and go to my shape builder tool, shift X to change the, swap the stroke and fill. And what we'll do here is I will, all of this, I'll connect together as one big ground plane. Okay. And then we'll do everything above the ground plane as one as a uh, pochets here. So let's go ahead. Whoops, there seems to be something going on there that's things don't like. I'll do that. Let's go through there. How about that? Connect those together. Connect those together. This we'll have to clean up. Let's see. So And in fact, I'll switch to my white arrow and select through there, delete those. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fake this. I'm going to, I'll make a, a rectangle here and just kind of, I'll fake this. And then we'll come in here, select that. Whoops. 
there. All right. That down. Okay. So that's kind of faked there. And let's zoom in. Command Y. So there is basically the poche, and let's turn on the background image rendering and see. So voila, that is pretty much our finished image, section perspective. I had uh, accidentally, uh, when I exported the rendering, I had this uh, other section cut layer on, so that's a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. But that's a uh, technique to get the, um, the section perspective pochet and uh, overlay it onto the rendering.